Five worst types of Pokemon players. You read the title, let's get into it. At number one, we have action replay kids that lie. Now let's get one thing out the way. I do not care if you use an action replay. However, you should not be lying your bum off to the other kids on the schoolyard saying you got a shiny Hoopa legit. For all the youngins that don't know, an action replay is basically a cheating device for the DS and the 3DS. Now this might not be a problem for the young kids today, but back in my day, I remember an action replay being all I ever wanted as a kid. Unfortunately, my mom always told me no, and that it was quote unquote a scam, no matter how many times I asked. And then my best friend Marcus got one and loaded his cartridge with the sickest shinies. Now my friend Marcus here is a prime example of a good American citizen, as he doesn't lie about the origins of his Pokemon. Unfortunately, I never really got to use his action replay, as I was no longer able to see him shortly after he got the device. Bro, he died. What? Nah, I just moved back home. Anyways, the moral of the story is that you should not be gaslighting people into believing your hacked Pokemon are earned through your blood, sweat, and tears. Number 2. Pokemon players that think they're better than everyone else because they play quote unquote competitive matches. Listen, I'm not gonna hate on you if you play the non-legit Pokemon battling website. I get it, a lot of older console and games are expensive. However, this does not mean you should make being a quote unquote competitive Pokemon battle or your whole personality, and it sure does not mean you're superior than everyone else just because you watched a YouTube tutorial for the best team on Pokemon Showdown. Mm. Just because some people play for the campaign or play to hunt shinies and have no idea how to make a competitive team does not mean you're better than them. Looking back at my life during Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, I remember me and my friends would Pokemon battle a lot. But if I were to put our teams up against real competitive players, we would have had our butts handed to us. In short, what I'm trying to say is that being the best battler is not everything. Life is not an anime, he sure as heck ain't Ash Ketchum. At number 3 we have Pokemon Go snobs. I play Pokemon Go too, but I swear, these Poke dweebs don't know how good they got it. I vividly remember a time when I exclaimed about catching a shiny Trico, only for my evil mommy to immediately say, So what? I will forever have a hatred towards Niantic for devaluing the shinies that we cartridge players have been losing our lives to earn. I swear, these kids don't even exercise when they play Pokemon Go. They just sit in the backseat of their mommy's car and tap a Pokemon when they see one which, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of the whole game. It's not just shinies either. You have to play a whole campaign just to catch box legendaries. But these Pokemon Goers catch one every single day. Like I said, I play Pokemon Go occasionally, but it hasn't made me lose sight on the true value of shiny Pokemon yet. Number four. Don't worry, this one will be short and sweet. Do you ever scroll on YouTube? or on your Facebook feed, and you end up stumbling onto some dumb kid that thinks they're a content creator, like Lil Bro, you ain't gonna be a famous Pokemon player. I promise you not one soul is gonna watch your videos, kid, like pipe down for real for real. And lastly, for number 5, the Pokemon players I hate the most in this world are Pokemon players that do not stop at a stop sign. 